Witness the story that takes place all throughout time. See each of our chosen heroes and the evil that threatens their peace. Welcome to Live Alive. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Void. I'm Player One. I'm Player Two. And welcome back to Live Alive. So last time on our on our quests, we have uh, chosen to start with the distant future, and we have our ball boy right here, Trapezoid. Yes. His canon name is Cube, but he decided on Trapezoid. Because it's funny. And we are talking with our crew on this spaceship. Pretty cool. We like just came to life. We tried out this cool mini game called Captain Square, and uh, and yes, so now going back in, and uh, basically we just need to talk to people. Kirk is really good at this game. Yeah. Must be interested in my book. Would you like to read it? Uh, okay. <gasps> Aww. The Dawn of the Space Age. It was written by humans long, long ago. I've always enjoyed these older stories. They have an earnestness, an adventurous spirit that speaks to me. <laughs> Says the guy who's practically terrified of his own shadow. Damn. Scared of his own shadow, damn. It must sound strange to you, seeing as how you were born on this ship, so to speak. I think you should learn as much as you can. Expand your horizons. Take a look around the ship and see if anything interests you. Don't just rely on humans to teach you, either. Experiment. Try to do things on your own. I don't have hands. What would you have me do? Option can Otto, does like, this bot press of buttons and whatnot. Unique abilities or talents? Or probably like R two D two, where we have the like little extendo thingy. Well, it comes out of our mouth. Not as oh. such. Uh, but they do have the capacity to process data and develop skills. Huh? Such as... Ah, why don't I teach you how to prepare coffee? Yeah? Come with me, little one. I'll show you how to use the machine. Oh, okay. Just push the button. It's simple enough. The coffee machine sits atop the counter, expectant. Whoosh. Oh! We do have arms! Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, would you look at that? Mind if I have a taste? Ugh. A bit bitter f for me. Sorry, it's their first cup. Damn. It, it's that's just black coffee. Damn. You just told us to push the button, you didn't tell us to do anything else. I want to talk to this man. Big man? Oh, damn. Damn! Ah. Don't touch me! Ow! Please, th there's no need to get so upset. You people have no idea what these things are capable of. 
But I do. I've seen it. Oh, uh, no. I don't know about any of that. But I'm sure it's got nothing to do with this one. I was just born. Please. Hey, it's the captain. Oh? I apologize for keeping you all waiting. Matters with our contacts on Earth demanded my full attention. So, what is the status of our crew? Everyone is present and accounted for, sir. Good. Plus ball boy. What is that thing over there? Ah, that would be the robot I've been working on, sir. Trapezoid. Fully operational, I see. You'll have to permit me a closer look later. Right then. Everything appears to be in order, so that will be all. Of a briefing, huh? Spent most of the time gaming and waiting for it to begin and end just like that. You say huh. that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Brother and sister. I think they're brother and sister. No, no, no. No? They be fucking. Oh, Gato. Oh. Well, I mean, the two aren't mutually look, exclusive, unfortunately. Sir, we just started. <laughs> and you can't, you you can't be going there already. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> ah, but first I need to perform a brief inspection of the main computer. I'll head downstairs afterwards. The behemoth? I think that's the alien. Ah, you must be wondering. And after one of the three biblical beasts? This is a transport freighter. And as usual, we've been tasked with making a delay. Anyway, if you like, you can use the elevator to come and join. The main computer is on level three, and the. Big man. I don't think he likes us. Alright, well now, Whoa. let's Whoa. go, let's go follow father, on to the third father. floor. Father. He's going to the main computer. Are these shoes or are they treads? They might be, I think they're skates. That's adorable. Yeah, look at this guy. I love this guy. father. Father, why did you give me glasses, Father? How am I born? Father. Am I born Father. with a, with a defect? Father. I am a robot. How could I have bad eyesight? Your kind were forsaken at birth. Proceed to take off glasses. What's that pulsating thing? Door? There's a pulsating, uh... Yeah, on, on the bottom, there's a pulsating triangle. <laughs> I'm glad you came, little one. I'd like to introduce you to someone. Though this isn't the first time, I suppose. It is a pleasure to meet you again, Trapezoid. I am the artificial intelligence tasked with overseeing the various functions of this vessel. Mother. Mother. A 10th generation AI, to be precise. We named them Decimus. Ooh. Decimus, Decimus. doesn't just look after the ship's systems, though. They look after the crew as well. Well, Deci means 10, so that makes sense. 
it also sounds like decimate, which doesn't bode well for us. Hal? Oh no. This module appears to be in working order. Do I hear foreshadowing? Maybe. Looks like my work here is finished. Time to visit the cargo hold. Would you like to... Yes, father. Beast. Show me the beast. Show me a behemoth. There it is. This is the priceless cargo we're transporting. So yeah, we... Beautiful. Don't you think? We, we think about that. It looks like a Final Fantasy creature. I mean, same company, so... I want to pet it. I don't think it'd let you. So long as you admire it from a distance, even the most exquisite rose handled without care will bleed you with its thorns. And this particular rose has two massive ones, in case you haven't noticed. Horns. Hey, can you two come to the bridge? Something wrong? Got some comms trouble by the look of it. I could use a hand here. Oh no. Double it's starting. Time, Huey. Warp speed. Hey, I think that's copyrighted. Look all you like. I don't care. But do remember that this is military property. My responsibility. And I do not take it lightly. Y yes. Of course. We were just leaving, actually. Kato, there's a section of wiring just outside the cargo hold I need you to check for me. Understood. You again. Hello. I better not catch you fiddling with that console. But big monster. Behemoth observational records. Visual log, audio log. Let's see what bro sounds like. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, I think we're meant to go to the bridge now. We got comms trouble. Everything looks to be in order. Right then, to the bridge. Uh, guys, you can you can just I I wanted to go too. Why you have to make me take the elevator separate? God damn it. I have lost control. Oh, there we are. Yeah, it was a cutscene. We had to wait for the elevator to come back down. Are there only two people out on the elevator at once? I think they were just mean. At a uh, bridge. Three, right? I believe so. You're the one who explored. I forget where everything is. Hello, everyone. And you checked the sub antennas? I did, and they're fine. It's a Watanabe hypercaster, made in Japan and everything. The main and sub units are designed to function independently, so one going down shouldn't necessarily affect the other. OK. 
Okay. I can't put my finger on it. I've seen all kinds of problems before, but this is different. We're receiving inbound transmissions without issue, but outbound transmissions are another story. So we can't talk to people then. That does not sound good. What did the captain have to say? Continue your investigation and get back to me when you have more information. We'll settle on a plan then. And, uh, Kirky, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> Wait and see, huh? The whole system could fail before he's ready to take action. What a horrible thought. The system has already effectively failed, if we can only receive transmissions from Earth. As it stands, we can no longer exchange information with them. We can only hope they have surmised our situation from our silence. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to do nothing. I'm heading outside to perform an on-site inspection of the array. Oh, Something bad. probably came loose or got knocked out of position. Should be easy to fix once I get a good look at it. I'm about to do a spacewalk. There's no talking him out of it now. So we may as well try and back him up. Are you up for a spacewalk, Kato? Yes, of course. Rachel, I'll go with him to the airlock to assist with preparations. I'll come back afterwards so we can monitor from the bridge. I I want I want to go too. And it seems like that's what we must do. Eat. So close to home. So close. The last thing we need right now is to spend time alone together. Just the two of us. Mm hmm? Yes? What is it? Captain, sir, I wish to update you on the comms issue. Kirk and Kato are going to head outside and perform an on-site inspection of the array. Ah. I see. Very good. Captain? What's gotten into him? Hmm. The beast, it speaks to him. Hmm. We will... we will see. Speaks to his mind. Alright, uh... First... first floor. So, the spacewalk can only go good, right? You know, he'll immediately find the thing, and we'll be back in business. Right? Oh. Stop it! Please! This is neither the time nor place! Oh, damn. You and your holier-than-thou attitude! <sighs> Break it up, you two. Stop this. Stay out of it, bot! Well, damn! There you go again, losing your temper, hurting others. <laughs> Got it all figured out, huh? Your problem is you can't take a joke. Always so damn serious. You're exhausting! It's a miracle Rachel humored you as long as she did. Oh? Oh. We're leaving. Try not to get sucked out the hatch when we go. Be a real shame that... What the hell happened in, like, the one minute we weren't here? Are you alright? Father, I don't like these people. Father, I'm in pain. Those are some clunky suits.
And yes, we have to watch them slowly waddle into the airlock. Oh. And there they go. All right. Now I'm we, sorry you had to see that. Now we wait. Yeah, well, well, what was all that? People are a bit more complicated than machines. Don't you think? True. Wait, where are we where are we going? Would we're not gonna wait for him? I guess not. Hmm. Uh we're going back to the bridge. So, it sounds to me like Rachel used to date Huey, but now she's with Kirk. That can only go well. Huis. Rachel, they're in position. Understood. All right, let's get this show on the road. Ooh, I like those chairs. Commencing operation. We don't get a chair. Well, I don't know if we can sit. Carto, you need to access the administrator controls. Oh, we don't have knees. Switch the system to maintenance mode. Inputting code. Whiskey Alpha Tango Alpha November Alpha Bravo. What? Uh, Watanabe. Kirk? Kirk, do you copy? Loud and clear. Everything's fine. Ah! Uh, I... I can't... Ah, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> There it is. Cook. Cook. Uh huh. Yep, now it starts. Now it now it begins. What's happening? Kirk? Kirk, respond! Someone talk to me! I've got him! But there's something wrong with this suit! We're coming in! I'll prep the med bay and meet them at the airlock. Uh -oh. I'm coming too. What has happened? I have it under control, Rachel. Don't worry. I'm sure Kirk is fine. He's as tough as they come. Stop it! Just stop it! I need to be there for him. <laughs> Oh no. Somebody sabotage the suit. Somebody. So where was Med Bay again? Second floor? Yeah, now now stuff is happening. And you're gonna see a, a, a pattern here. Since stuff is now happening, a lot of stuff is going to start happening. We are no more, no, no more peace. We will get no more peace at this point.
Oh. Oh. Get up, man. Mm, yeah, it's a... It's a no. Where's the captain? Hey! Ah, yes, right. I'll go and get him. Well, 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 damn. Can't believe they're dead. So, this accident was the result of a defective life support system. Well, shit. A preventable death caused by negligence. You're wrong. I triple checked the suits beforehand. It shouldn't have been possible for it to just up and fail like that. Is that so? Then perhaps we must consider the possibility that it was not an accident, but the intended outcome. Come on, big man. He just died. Was oh. that an explosion? Oh. I sure hope not. Where's the captain? Why isn't he here? Well, I, I, I'm not quite sure. I tried repeatedly to contact him, but, but he wouldn't respond. What's wrong with you people? What kind of ship are you running here? Right now, we need to find out what that explosion was. Then I will go and check on my cargo. Look after Rachel, little one. She needs the company. Now more than ever, if something happens, you can find me on the bridge. Okay. Just us. A dead body. And a, uh, grieving girlfriend. Rachel? Ra Rachel? Rachel? Uh, uh, oh no. We, we ain't got the facilities for this. Wait. Yeah, he's dead. Damn. Yep, he's dead. Can't believe he did this. Who? You. Me? Yeah. What did I do? You killed him. What did I do? I didn't touch the man. You put ice in his suit. How would that kill him? You messed with the airways and the life support. So I'm just ball boy. Uh huh. All right. Well, something has happened, so we must talk to Father. Because Rachel, Father. Is, Rachel's doing stuff. Father, I know who did it. It was Player One, Father. I'm not in the game. Father, I've seen beyond the veil, Father. I can see through the fourth wall, Father. You are but lines of code, Father. Ball boy would know the fourth wall. He's got that aura to him. Father. Father. The hot one left. They're not father, this is father. Everything appears to be operating within normal parameters. I... 
Hmm? I don't understand. The main antenna, it's... Yeah. It's gone. Because of the explosion just now? It's just gone. What's, what's gone? The antenna. Oh. Can someone shut that game off? <sighs> disaster after disaster. At this rate, I'd be better off climbing into an escape pod and trying for Earth on my own. True. Now first, before we do anything, I think now we can go do something. Is it get a weapon? No. Um, but we do want to find someone's room. I think we need to find Rachel's room, which might be this. Yes. Yeah. Subject to approval by Rachel. Please input your name. Remember, father told us this was a mechanic. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Boinky. Profile confirmed. Rachel has granted you access. Yes? Okay. Uh, uh, hey, Rachel. Hey, hey, girl. You okay? I don't think she's okay. She's not okay. Kirk, my love. I know he would never leave me. Tag is emblazoned. Kirk Wells. Local network message one. Sender, Kirk Wells. Hey, got time to talk? Meet me on the bridge at 0330. Message two. Sender, Kirk Wells. Thanks for earlier. I'm happy you feel the same. Can't wait to get back to Earth and take that trip together. Oh. 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 They were in the honeymoon phase. They, it like, it like just happened. A stuffed animal of a bear with a red ribbon. Oh. oh. Photo frame. Golden haired woman clings to the arm of a familiar looking man. Personal computer. Messages displayed on the screen. Date. Draft. Hey mom. Hope you're doing well. I'm planning on next time I visit. I was thinking of bringing... I met a guy. The unfinished unsent message ends. She was gonna tell her mom. Oh, honey. Hmm. Man. Man. All right. Well, that's that's our little side thing that we could do. All right. And then we go back to the rec room. And I also think with that We'll end it there. So stuff's happening now. Stuff's happening that um, I'm not I'm not fully keen on. A man is dead. Everything's falling apart. We we can't contact the captain. But the antenna exploded. What the hell is happening? We were just born. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Father, I am less than ten hours old. Man, why are arms like wings? Because they're cute. Why have you made me like this, father? All right, well, with that, we'll end it there. I have been player one. I have been player two. And I think next time we may finish this chapter. Really? I think I think we can. I think we can. All How right. many chapters are there in each one? 
No, each one is a chapter. We oh. might we might finish this whole thing next time. Really? They're not that long. This makes sense with how many of them there are, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What what happens? Do we die? You'll see. You'll see. All right. <laughs> the ship just implodes. Bye bye. Bye bye.